hello everyone so here in this tutorial i am going to show you how to crack any wi-fi yes so in this tutorial we are just going to hack wi-fi using python yeah just python nothing else so you can see my window here i have opened ssh which is connected to my server and we are running kali linux here for this tutorial so you can see that it is connected with a ssh server which is not a very far away server this server is actually another computer which is located in another room of my home yes so you can see here we are currently on the desktop directory of the linux system here you can see some files who am i i am lucifer morningstar this is my name for this system for my server so first for this tutorial we are going to take sudo permissions sudo su and we are going to enter our password see now we got root permission now we can perform any operation we can perform any huge task now so here you can see um, let me first clear the window so here you can see some of the files on my desktop so this crack wifi.conf you can see it crack wifi.conf sorry 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 not it crack you can see it down crack the wifi.py yeah sometimes i get confused yeah so crack the wifi.py this is the file which on which we have written all the code to crack a wi-fi so i am going to show you what's the code in it see hmm. this all are comments don't think about it just see this so here first we are going we are importing system from os library then we are importing time and we are importing sleep from time so basically we are not using it here we can comment it down because uh, there's no use of time library in this program but if you want to customize this program according to your needs then you can of course include any library you want in it so here we have asked input we we have made a variable and we have asked input for the ssid then we made a variable status and what it's doing is nmclid disconnect vlan 0 so, so vlan 0 stands for wireless connections and here we are making our computer to disconnect with any network which it is connected previously yes so to perform this you need your computer to be disconnected but sometimes by mistake can you can hmm, you can you can run this program while your computer is connected to a network but through this command your computer will get disconnected if it's being connected from any else network then our next next command is ifconfig ran zero up which stands so which base so our here our next command is ifconfig ran zero up so what is what it does it basically enables your wi-fi yeah in some systems due to some issues wi-fi's and network cards gets disabled or they may raise some issues so this command is used to enable the wi-fi card or wi-fi settings in your system so basically my server was giving a lot of issues it was frequently getting disconnected from the wi-fi card so it so it was mandatory for me to include this command but if we but if it's not for you then you can of course comment it down how i did here but i'm going to uncomment it cause i'm i'm going to use this command so then we have with open so here we are performing a dictionary attack yeah so what dictionary what is a dictionary attack so dictionary attack is basically a type of attack in which already we will be having a file 
in which we will be containing all the possible passwords yes the passwords which you have doubt and the passwords which are very commonly used you can find this type of files on internet so this file see this file is situated on my desktop and the file name is word list it is a text file and it is containing all the common passwords and i have downloaded it from github so you can see we are opening this file then we are applying a for loop to extract each password at a time from the file now we are performing system nmclid wi-fi connect ssid password each password if name vlan zero so what it does so here we are using a f string in the system command and we are using nmcli to get to connect with wi-fi whose ssid is ssid variable he if you have noticed then here we have asked for input and we have entered the input ssid in the ssid variable and now here we are using that ssid variable to get the actual value of the ssid and here password and yeah in curly braces each password which stands for this each password i have name vlan zero so after connecting it see here whatever ssid name you will provide it will take it will come here and whatever password will system give in each loop will come here and the ssid is always true but the password is not always true so you need a condition to check whether the password is true or not so to check whether the password is true or not whether we have connected with a network or not for applying a condition here i am making a ping to google.com see ping is equals to system curl i https google.com and after that i am writing a if condition if ping double is equals to zero print successfully cracked ssid see here ssid is in curly braces using password in curly braces each password and then we are making a break statement to break the loop and come out of the program so here you can see we have stored the system curl i https google.com in a variable named ping and the condition is if ping double is equals to zero so what it does here system curl i https google.com if it runs successfully then it will return zero if it does not run successfully then it will return some other number so we are making a statement using the if condition whether ping double is equals to zero which means if ping is successful or not so if ping is successful then we can say that we have been successfully connected to the wi-fi network or else we have been not so if we are successfully connected if we have successfully cracked the Wi-Fi, then we will break from the loop, we will break from the program. So this is the basic overview of this program, which is actually a very simple program, but it can do a lot of tasks and it can hack any Wi-Fi, which you can think and you can perform. See. So now here I am going to run this program and show you practically how to do it. I am going to close this editor. Hmm, it's not good. see now here now here we have closed our editor and we are going to run the file you can see the file name is crack the wi-fi dot py so python 3 make sure to use python 3 instead of python cause we are in a linux server using ssh crack the wi-fi dot py 
we are going to press enter and you can see here it's asking for the ssid so the hmm, text is enter the ssid of the network you want to crack so uh, so we will enter yeah we will enter my neighbor's wi-fi ssid so we are going to crack my neighbor's wi-fi so his wi-fi ssid is wi-fi 786 enter now you will see the magic see it's loading hmm yeah you you can see here so it was very quick and very fast and now we have successfully cracked wi-fi 786 using password wi-fi 786786 yeah so here wi-fi 786786 was the password for wi-fi 786 and we have successfully cracked it using our our tool so so for a better understanding i want to show you all the word list nano uh, first we will make a list nano word list now you can see pretty garbage value here and this also i have generated using random library of python i will surely make a tutorial on that but for now see it so it has some passwords you can see pretty garbage passwords which are of no use and here you can see our password of wifi 786 wifi 786 786 and you can see another password of my wifi which is stop here so this is the password of my wifi my home wifi and this is another password of another wifi kf 12345 so you can see here so if you have doubt that your neighbor's password is something like password sorry hmm password then you can surely include it here or if you have doubt that your neighbor's password is something like monkey123 which is also a pretty common password and if you think that someone else wifi password which you are going to crack is um, something like uh, um, india12345 or um, then you can include those in this list 